Okay, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if we can turn this one into a treat. Just see a fucking spider on the ground. Sounds a bit cruel crushing it, but I don't like spiders because they could be dangerous. You just don't know unless you know what a spy what spider it is. Um, I don't know. Okay, let's see what this lick lick sniff sniff stuff is. It is a woman's day, a gossip magazine full of celebrities and bullshit. And we've got celebrities here posing as models. Isn't that pathetic, folks? Look at them in their fucking dumb dumb dresses. Look at the shit. Fuckwits. Full of money, that's all they are. It's fucking money. Everyone loves a money fucker. I don't understand why money fuckers are so fucking popular. You know, this should be more popular. This kind of thing to do with charities, to help others, not the fucking shit that, uh... Yeah, yeah. They're just fuckwits, these rich people. Sick of it. Now this is too hot. I like the shapes in that, but I don't like the colour scheme. It looks too red. It looks ugly. Let's try that again with the cooler settings. It's hard to know how it's going to look. Usually I, I set it for that, but obviously it's not working that way now. try that again but yeah they're just snobby little bitches you know they just care about themselves and their fucking money and the rich and the stupid media news channels and shit love these celebrities and fuckwits they don't seem to care about the less fortunate and when they do put something on that's to do with the less fortunate they just make it once in a while, you know, they don't seem to care otherwise. Let's come up looking yuck. It's too blue now, it's too fucking. The colour in that is shit. Look at that awful blended look. Ugh, can't get it right. It's ugly, 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 ugly. It's like everything, anyone who's got money gets the admiration. If you've not got money, you get kicked to the curb. It's not fair, you know. How are you supposed to get ahead if you don't get given a chance in life? This is looking too fucking blue as well. Looks shit house. I 
do think. Um, I don't know why I'm not I'm hitting bum notes today. For some reason, I feel like I'm hitting a bunch of bum notes, folks. Maybe I shouldn't have the red. Ah, oh, fuck, it's so annoying. What, what have I got it set on, I wonder? I'm not doing very well today, folks. This is not my day. I think we need some red. Not too much, however. Maybe a little less. Just trying to put it into the corner. Yeah, that looks a bit interesting. Uh, don't like the colour again. I must admit, folks, I'm trying my best to perform pretty much because I'm trying to get into the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9. I'm trying to get recognised as a, a photocopier artist, but at the same time I'm having problems with the way the news channels like to sniff and lick the rich up the arse. You know, sniff, sniff, lick, lick, you know. <coughs> Up the ass, you know, right up the bum of these rich people. They just can't seem to stop their brown nosing and they don't care about people like myself who don't have any kind of prestige or reputation. I've never had, even had an art exhibition, folks. I've never been in an art exhibition, so I wouldn't know what the glitz and the glamour is like. I would not know what the limelight is like. It's never been anything that I've, that has occurred to me that maybe. Um, I should be on an art gallery wall. I used to think I was going to be a photocopy, a technician. I wanted to be a technician. I figured being a technician was more lucrative than being an artist because you know, a lot of artists do starve. They suffer. They have problems. They don't seem to get much money. And I, I thought the odds were against, against me, so I never, I never tried. And now I've come to the conclusion that this is it. I'm not a technician, I'm disabled, but despite the disabilities I have, I can still do this. But I can't seem to get recognised in, in, nonetheless. And I'm trying my best to use this kind of celebrity-based material. You know, that maybe I have to do a bit of arse licking and, and sniffing myself to get anywhere because I just can't seem to get anywhere, folks. TV TV channels like Channel 9 would rather give me the bum steer. They don't care about me. They don't want me to succeed. They want to play their shit. Car crashes, death, disease, disaster. You know, murders and, and rapes and car crashes. I said car crashes, sorry. Um, house fires and and drug busts, all the usual stuff that they like to typically play in the news bulletins. And then they load it up with sport, sport, and more fucking sport. Sports people behaving badly, all this sort of shit. And then when they play, then they put other artists in the frame. An artist, for example, that was exhibiting at the prestigious Louvre Gallery in France. You know who the Louvre is? It's like the who's who of the art world. It's like the fucking Hollywood of art. You know, it's the biggest fucking... Ugh. And this bitch was being featured on the news and my work just gets the bum steer. Even though I am an artist, I'm trying my best being a disabled artist. And I just can't seem to get anywhere. I can't find the right formula, the right magic that these rich people have, that these successful people have. What do they do to get it, folks? Where do they go? What do they do? What sort of tricks do they have up their sleeve? What is their secret of their success? What is the elixir? 
because I can't find any fucking success, folks. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to save electricity, right? I work in a sheltered workshop. I'm disabled. I had brain damage at birth. I had a cord around my neck and I came out breech. And I wasn't diagnosed with that. And I'm still not diagnosed, but I can't work. And I've got another diagnosis that I'm too ashamed to talk about. But it has given me my Centrelink benefits. So I live on Centrelink. I work in a sheltered workshop. I don't enjoy the work. I don't enjoy the life. I want to be a success, be successful at what I'm good at and what I'm passionate about. And that is to make this... this um, photocopier art and it's really difficult and discouraging for me when I get these ass licking TV channels sniffing up the asses of famous artists or artists that have succeeded in making money and I'm just having to take one shower a week because I can't afford the power to heat my humble little unit my social housing unit I don't it doesn't come with air con so it gets very hot in summer and cold in winter and winter, of course, is more expensive because you're running a heater. And basically, it's really hard work. Uh, so I have to shower once a week and wash my hair once a fortnight. That's not the way I should live. You know, that's not the way anyone should live. An artist should be able to be free to create and to not be worried about bills and, and shit. You know... So, you know, I really need Channel 9 to just pull their finger out of their collective assholes and do something useful for a change and stop playing these other artists. Or the Archibald Prize is another one that I hate. They talk about the Archibald Prize and other prestigious art prizes. I've never won an art prize and I would not, certainly not qualify to go into the Archibald. So there you have it. I can't. I'm not rich enough, I'm not famous, I'm not prestigious, I'm not recognised. What am I, folks? A piss ant. A little ant on the floor that you step on. Like, uh, like that spider I stepped on. I think it was in this video I stepped on a spider. Can't quite remember. My memory's not too good. My short-term memory. And that's come up looking quite interesting. Um, but basically, I'm really champing at the bit, trying to make, make ends meet and trying to get somewhere as an artist you know that yes I'm not famous right I'm not famous I'm not prestigious I don't have any name any art exhibitions to my name I don't have any of that shit but I do have passion and I do have talent and I need this raw talent to be to be on show I'm trying to get in touch with my partner Luigi who loves me and I want to marry him and I can't find him until I go to air on the six o'clock news channel nine my love life is, is on edge. You know, I can't do anything without your help, Channel 9. And I'm, ple I'm pleading with you to fucking play my material. I try my best, you know. I try my best as a, a disabled artist. You know, I try my best. You know, I'm trying to make myself well known as an artist, not, a, not just a piss ant with a disability. I don't want to be recognised as a pissant with a disability. Just because I'm disabled isn't the isn't the um, isn't the sum total of who I'm supposed to be. I don't want to be recognised as just an artist with disability. You know, yes, I'm disabled. I also do think I have high functioning autism, which is, which is an asset in this case. Uh, helps me keep focused on the job of producing this art. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the uh, belief in... I wouldn't have enough belief in myself to do it otherwise. That's kind of looking interesting. I don't know if I like that whiteness. In some ways, I do, and in other ways, I hate it. I think yellow might be the colour for this. But, yeah, I'm trying my best, folks, to put my best foot forward, you know, to try and stay above water, to try and accept what I'm able to do, even though I don't enjoy working in what effectively is a sheltered workshop. Uh, trying to get in touch with Luigi and I really miss him. I can't live alone. Smoke. Live loneliness is like smoking the equivalent of 15 cigarettes a day and it's a health hazard for me, folks. I have a huge 
I, I smoke lots of those so-called cigarettes each day, 15 at least, probably more because of other stresses, the worries about finances and the worries about this and that and the other, trying to get to the air on the 6 o'clock news. It's really difficult, folks. But I'm trying my best as a person living with disability. Did I, I think I did say I had a cord around my neck and I came out breach. And that's the and that's caused me memory problems and I'm unable to go and study at TAFE or go to university um, to do anything like what you normal people would take for granted. You know, like I really need to get in touch with Luigi and get recognised as an artist and I want to give back to society. I don't want to be forever on the taxpayer's purse. I don't want to be on Centrelink. I don't want to work in a sheltered workshop or what effectively is a sheltered workshop. I don't want to be costing the taxpayer money and having to having to share a laundry with more people. I don't I do my laundry externally in a, at a laundromat because I can't stand the, the fear that I have I'm going to clash with someone in the, in the share laundry. So it's costing me money to get my laundry done every week. Um, twice a week I get my laundry done. So I can't launder here. I don't feel comfortable with the other people here sharing it. Uh, I have to share the washing machine with three other people and the dryer with seven people and some people can be real hogs and I haven't got time to just sit around waiting for my laundry waiting to get opportunity to use it and then having a fight I can't tolerate fights folks so I have to use the laundry outside and that's come up looking at a treat and I'm just going to give you a fly around of my humble abode okay we'll start with the center stage that is the photocopier this is my area here where I put my stuff this is my bedroom window with a nice view of the street not much of a view but hey it's, a, it's better than nothing better than the street living on the street I've tried that it's not fun and anyway we'll go to the bathroom later and this is just my ship's galley of a kitchen not much room there to do much and you can't fit a dishwasher in you can't fit much more than a bar fridge in this cavity um, this is where I've got some of my artwork famously sitting on shelves and on, on up the top there there's more of them and this is this is discs ready for channel 9 discs that will become channel 9 fodder so channel 9 you've got plenty of stuff coming forth your way the longer you leave it I'm, I'm going to play that power game with you folks this is my entrance my bag hanging there in case I forget my keys. And this is my tower of artwork, the biggest amount of artwork I have. Don't you make no mistake, each box holds almost 500 sheets. This side here, these ones are bigger. So you can see it's a huge pile of paper that's accumulating constantly. There's another box there happening. My messy couch, a um, bit mess there, and this is my view. This is where I'm hoping the news will appear, and it's my television, my USB-powered lantern. I've got some torches. I'm also, it's my computer. I'm also stopped using ceiling lights. I'm using torches and that USB lantern. So I'm really trying my hardest to save money while doing my art and trying to be efficient as an artist. So yeah, oh, I forgot to show you one thing. This is costing me. This hungry little fan heater, that's what I use to heat this area. And I have to close it off, close the door. And the bedroom doesn't get heated, it gets fucking cold in the bedroom. It's hard to sleep when that happens. And that's come up looking a treat. I think we can now call this expose finished. But I must say, Channel 9, the power is in your hands to make or break me. I don't want to be on the cent on Centrelink for the rest of my life or working in a sheltered workshop. I just want to be free to earn money doing what I'm good at and earning lots of money and ploughing it back into society, including helping the others who are not who are less fortunate than myself. I want to make a difference. I really do, and I can't do it without your help, Channel Nine. So yeah, fortunately, I'm not in an explosively ragey mood today. 
So you got a more hap- a less ch- less less explosive day today, but I really miss Luigi. I want to marry him. I'm 50 and I'm I'm postmenopausal, so I've lost the best years of my life. And I really miss Luigi, so if he can get us together, I'll be really pleased. And it'll be a love story, I'm sure, folks, worth airing. And that's come up a treat. And the beat noise means we're finished.